This is Don Jr. making his movie debut. There's his sister Leilani. There's Sandy. Three Musketeers. I can remember when you fit in the palm of my hand. You felt so good in it. No bigger than a minute. This is Cousin Loopy and Ronnie. They were the godparents for you and Sandy. Faster than a flower blooms, they grow up all too soon. So let them be little, cause they're only that way for a while. Give them hope, give them Let them giggle, let them sleep in the middle. Oh, but let them be little. I don't want my picture taken. Where's my food? This I've never felt so much. This was our house on the east side of San Jose. Oh, I just bought it about a year before. So in the process of getting everything fixed, built the fence, put the pool in, did some cement work. Little by little got it all fixed up before we sold it and moved to Hawaii in 1967. I live for those kisses, your prayers and your wishes. And now you're teaching me how only a child can see. There's little mini me, Don Jr. Some do. Oh, that's me. Only that way for a while. There's sweet give little Sandy. Them hope, give them praise, give them love. Uncle John from Hawaii was in town for a short let visit. Cry, let them giggle, let them sleep in the middle. Don Jr. is practicing for his driver's test. Cousin Carrie is helping him out there. This was Christmas over Grandma Silvera's house around 1963. There's Grandma Silvera and John Wayne chasing the bad guys. This was Cousin Ray and Mary's house in Salem, Oregon. There's her kids, Brian and Annette. We were on a two week vacation to come up and visit some of the relatives. There's my brother's wife, Dawn, my brother, Jim, and cousin, Ray. He says, put a little bit of whiskey in there. And back in here, we have the animals. Don Jr. is in his cage. The rest are free range roaming animals. They could go wild if they want. Then we have one here that's pretty tired already. Been roaming the range all day. just happened to be Lizzie's birthday on our vacation. So we had a nice little party for her there. There you are, Don, hiding on the edge of the seat there.
charge five dollars for my pictures. Shirley and Cousin Carrie, her daughter. There's Big Don Jr. This was taken in August of 1967, shortly after you all moved to Hawaii. I didn't get there until December. I had to stay behind and pack everything up and ship it over there and sell the house. I can't tell if you're in that group there or not, Don. Kind of dark, hard to tell. Can you find yourself in here, Don? I don't see any place. I'm not sure who took all these movies. I wasn't there. Looks like the animals are off to the zoo to visit the relatives. Hands up, here comes the bolt of lightning. There's Auntie Lay and Grandma. Mr. Bottlehead.
and here comes Leilani the Flash, just buzzing right along there on her 305 Triumph. And here comes Don Juan from Capistron on his Harley 750, still hanging on the lead. Uh-oh, sounds like you might have some engine problems. Okay, looks like there's been a restart, and Don Juan from Capistron has taken over the lead. And screaming Cindy on her tricycles, trying to get back into this race. Looks like Don Juan has engine troubles again. Here comes Leilani the Flash. Don's back on it again. He's in this race to win it. Leilani the Flash tries to cut him off, but can't. Don has engine trouble again. Leilani makes her move now, takes the lead. Looks like the judges are reviewing the video. Leilani is under her tarp checking her paperwork. In the meantime, Don Juan from Capistron is having a fit. He wants to get this race over with. In the meanwhile, we have Cindy, the screaming Cindy, coming back in to find out what's going on here. Yeah, it looks like the officials have decided to call the draw. So now the riders will change vehicles and get ready for the next race. Now a word from our sponsors. Just kidding. Looks like the riders are getting warmed up for the next big race. Looks like Screaming Cindy is out of the race for the day unless she can find herself another vehicle somewhere. Screaming Cindy has teamed up with Tow Truck Sam in order to get back into the race here for this championship race. That still looks like Don Juan from Capistron is still having some problems over there. He doesn't look too happy about it. I got a feeling he's going to be out of the race the rest of the day. That won't be a good thing for him. He's determined though. He's going to stay with it. There's no giving up for this man. He's a champion all the way. Sin screaming Cindy, it looks like she's out of it for the day. But Don Juan is still determined. In the meantime, it looks like Bull Truck Sam is having her problems. She lost her rider. Taxi! Poor screaming Cindy now has to walk the rest of the race. Don Juan is a man who never gives up. He's determined to finish this championship race.
Party Makeover at the Sam Salon. That was back in 1968-69. Not sure what it looks like today. Probably a madhouse. Grandma's still busy looking for OP shells. That Don is a hard-working devil. Sculpture. Sandy's building on her idea. Don's building those chest muscles up. Here I come, save the day. That means that Mighty Mouse is on the way. Yes. Here comes Cindy and Mom. Arnold's getting serious now. He's got a knife. Watch out, man, the old bees. Arnold's still busy. Watch out, those waves come in fast sometimes. I'll warn you, Grandma. And the 
here's Mr. Rusty. Looks like he had a rough night last night. Hit the bottle too much. There's a place that I recall not too big. In fact, it's kind of small. Back then in 1969, this was the only stoplight on the island. That was to stop traffic so the sugarcane trucks could cross the road. Where I used to play, the canyons of Waimea, standing all alone. The magic of the garden aisle keeps calling me back home. Not sure if you remember any of this, Don. We went up there to the canyon a couple of times. To find a place that was better still. This is what they call the Grand Canyon of the Islands. The canyons of Waimea, standing all alone. The magic of the garden pile keeps calling. This is Miano's TV and appliance store where I used to work. And there's my old boss, Sam, putting price tags on things. And this is the truck I used to drive around the islands every day, doing repairs and getting free pastries and coffee from my customers. Great people. That's the mountain they call Sleeping Giant. Could have had a better angle to get it, see it much better. And this is the one that I call Gorilla Mountain or Monkey Mountain or King Kong. one-two punch is pulling us down. Takes a little break here and gets ready to get back into it again. And here he goes. He's back at it. And the champion is still fighting. There's a 
popcorn and start going crazy. Don't know what to do. Don wins. Grandma's got the day off today, so she's taking it easy. There's Uncle John. He's been relaxing for the day. There's Cindy and her little friend. And there's Mighty Rusty locked up in his cage. And there's Auntie Lay doing her ironing. And Uncle John back there in the cage with Rusty. And here's the Moreno gang all assembled. What a happy looking group. Rusty the Little Warrior showing off his new Hawaiian outfit. And Don doing his Kojak impression, sucking on a lollipop. And here comes Rusty leading his band of misfits. Oops, the little misfit had a misstep. Looks like our leader is lost and needs a little jump start there. There he goes. I'm first. No, I'm first. No, I'm first. No, I'm first. Okay, bye bye. Get out of here. Somewhere I dance, dance, dance till your toes get tanned. Hawaii, island of love. Lovely. Once again, we have this happy band of warriors soaking up the sun.
first on in the blue and white shirt. I guess they're with Fancy Lee for the day. Out of Kalamoana Park. Sounds delicious, Don. This was Christmas 1970 at Grandma's house in Honolulu. There's Uncle Marcus, Auntie Lay holding Rusty. Ho ho, come catch your presents. I think we have one here for Don Jr. There you are, Don. One for Pono, boy. Uh -oh, what do we got here? It's been a mistake. Bring all your presents back. Gotta have them back again. Come on, Don. Bring yours back. My mistake, you get your presents back. I'm sorry. Here's yours, Bono. And Don, here's yours. Come get it. Santa knows that we're God's children that makes everything right. Fill your hearts with Christmas cheer. Here's Don with all of his presents. Thank you everybody for all my toys. Peace on earth will come to all if we just follow the light. Let's give thanks to the Lord above the sun. Turn the camera off and go away so I can play with my toys. Go away, Grandma. I'm trying to eat. You talking to me? You want a piece of me?
Good job, Don. I'm going to put you in for a raise. I want to go back to my little grass shack in Kealakaku, Hawaii. I want to be with all the connies and wahines. Driving around the island with the kids, Mitch saw the store that had his daughter's name on it, so he had to stop in to get something to wet his whistle. I wonder what he got. Looks like an oldie beer. And Richard relaxing for a little bit, enjoying his nice cold holy. There's the memorial that was built over the USS Arizona battleship. The ship I used to be stationed on was right here at this dock. It's been moved to another dock since then. There's still several ships that were sank that are still in there. This is the ship I was stationed on for two years when I was in Pearl Harbor. A 10-man crew and I was the only electrician. Now that was a nice day trip. Now it's back to Waikiki Beach and out for dinner. Vacation's over. Time to head home in the morning.
back in my mouth. <laughs> Like a lot of my videos, I got more of the scenery and the places we went than I did of you kids. So I don't think there's any of you in this one. That to town son leave your guns at home bill don't take go say hi to the indian rusty come on no get away from me help Billy Joe reads for his gun. call 911 let me out threw his gun and fired before he even saw as Billy Joe fell to the floor the crowd all gathered round Wondered at his final words. Don't take your guns to town, son. Leave your guns at home, Bill. Don't take your guns to town. Oh, with that air mattress, Don. Once again, I found all the scenery I did to get you kids into this. You're in the car, so I'm sure you remember all this. I 
Okay, don't panic. I got everything under control. I got some escaped convicts out there. Just sit back and relax. This is Cousin Annette with Evil Can Evil Dawn on the back. In the summertime when the weather is high, you can stretch right These are more cousins, but I can't remember their names now. You got women, you got women on your mind. Have a drink, have a drive, go out and see what you can find. This is Cousin Caroline, Raymond's sister, Aunt Celia there in the background, they own the farm. This is Cousin Raymond, Caroline's brother, he just passed away around December of 2021. This is their youngest brother, Jim. He passed away a couple of years after this was taken. He had a bad heart. And there's screaming Cindy off on her wild stallion. Then we went over to my brother's a few miles away and spent a couple of days there with him and his family. There's his son, Jim Jr., with a friend. And there's the Olympic champion paddleboard man, Don Jr. After leaving Salem, we headed up to Seattle, Washington for a few days of sightseeing at the World's Fair and the Space Needle. Get a great view from up here. It's over 600 feet high. We'll be going down there and riding that pretty soon. Here's my band of Royal Hawaiians. We're off to ride the monorail. Almost looks like the leaning tower of Pisa. But we're in Washington, not Italy. Okay, we're on the monorail and we're off and running. This was 
sandy, rusty, and it is going on some wild rides. Jerner got himself stuck going in circles. He's free! Free at last! What a look of confidence like Mario and Rodden. like the tribe is exhausted they all got their prizes Lizzie got the biggest one there it's time to head back to the hotel and relax for the night before we head up into Washington further to see cousin George and Joyce go see the monster Rusty you sure are one ugly dude And here we have some local natives discovering the great outdoors. There's Cousin Joyce getting the horses ready for everybody to ride. You never did ride that day, Don. I don't know if you were scared of the horse or just didn't want to ride it. Back in the 60s, George remodeled that barn inside to make a living quarters out of it for the family while they built this house next door. Cowboy, looks like he's been hitting the bottle too much today. The countdown, wild horse on the loose. George just got home from work, so it's time for dinner. Gonna call it a day now. 
Bye bye. so I can eat this go. I'm hungry. with us on our company picnic. Here comes Don Jr. with the big balloon that he went over and got cast for Dustin. That was really nice of you, Don. This is where we went on vacation with Richard and his family. I'm sure you remember this, Don. We stopped in Florence, Oregon and went dune buggy riding.
mom and me have stopped there several times and got on the fast dune buggies. There's Don in the yellow jacket. Our next stop was Sea Lion Cave just outside of Florence, Oregon. You can take the elevator all the way down and look out straight across and see the sea lions. off to the campground for the night. Some That's probably why you're not in a lot of the video, man Don. You keep hiding. I should have changed it to the tree so I could get some pictures of it. Here's someone hiding to get out of work. The next morning it was time to get up, pack up, clean up, and head off to our next stop, the Olympia Beer Company. I owe my soul to the company. It's like Dolores wasn't ready to get up yet. The company store. Sure glad we brought our child labor with us. I sure didn't want her to do dishes. Step aside. A lot of men didn't. A lot of men died. One fist of iron. Cheryl and Sandy had the lucky job of cleaning up all the dishes. You load 16 tons. What do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt. St. Peter, don't you call me cause I can't go. I owe. You drank all that by yourself, Sandy? Good soul. job. To the company store. We spent several hours here learning how my favorite beer only is brewed and bottled. Pop a top again. I've just got time for one more round. Set them up, my friend. Then I'll be gone and you can let some other food sit down. There's an unhappy employee, probably didn't get his beer for breakfast. You to listen to a joke I heard today from a woman who said she was only I tried to smile and did a while, but it felt so out of place. Did you ever hear of a clown? I can use a couple of those big tanks in my house. But then you see her leaving me is not what I prefer. So it's either here just drinking. Beer Looks like they have enough boxed up ready to ship to me. That should get me through the summer. Pop a top again. I think I'll have another round. Set them up, my friend. I'll be gone and you can let some other fool sit down Pop a top again This should be enough to finish off our vacation Then we spent a couple of days here in Seattle sightseeing There's Don in the yellow shirt after the monorail ride, I walked over to the World's Fair. Good swim and dinner, and in the morning it's off the cousin Ronnie's. And here we are, at 
was in Ronnie's place. We spent a couple of days here, and then they followed us on up into Washington to visit with Cousin George and Joyce. There's Cousin Ronnie, the big grizzly bear. That dog was so big, Rusty rode him around like a horse. I guess you were hiding as usual, Don. Didn't get much of you in this. I'm sure you have memories of being there. From Cousin Ronnie's place in Everett, Washington, we all drove up to Cousin George and Joyce's in Bellingham, Washington. There's a bunch of the cousins that came over to visit while we were there. That was Teresa and her son. There's Cousin Ronnie. There's Cousin George behind the bar over there. There's his wife, Cousin Joyce. Had a nice time up there. I'm sure you remember this, Don. After we left Cousin George and Joyce's, we stopped by this little zoo on our way heading home. Rusty feels like a giant next to this horse. Look close, Don, you see yourself in that gold shirt. There you go. Siskiyou for a couple of days. About three days we spent there, just close to Mount Shasta. Love that hairdo, Don. I don't know how come you and Rusty have a lot of hair, and I don't have any. on me. This is our last day at the campground. Tomorrow morning we pack everything up and head out for Lake Tahoe to Aunt Shirley and Uncle Wayne's house. Spend a few days there. There's Richard's car. There's our tent. And there's Richard way over there. Here comes Dolores, everybody's just waking up. Time to have breakfast. Once again, you're hiding, Don, so I didn't get you in this film either. But you were there at the campground, so this is one of your memories you should have. Find yourself a buddy for the day. We've sure entertained Dustin quite a while. 
This was our last stop on vacation at Aunt Shirley and Uncle Wayne's in Lake Tahoe. Then back to work on Monday. We could sure love to tease everybody. <laughs> Better you know us than our building sand castles or something over there. you and your sister Lizzie graduating at the same time. Boy, who is that tall drink of water behind you, Lizzie? His son went to school here. This was our trip to Disneyland. There's the hotel we stayed at and took the shuttle over every day. Spent, I think, three days here. This is the one Grandma Kopahu in Hawaii wanted to come to, but she came down sick with cancer and passed away before she could get over it. As usual, I found everything but you kids enjoying what you're seeing. At least you got memories of it. This was Mickey Mouse's 50th birthday, so they had a huge parade for him. The whole world wants to wish you happy birthday, Mickey Mouse. Everybody wants to toast you with a song. Happy birthday, Mickey! The whole world wants to wish you happy birthday. Listen while your friends all join and sing along. The whole world wants to wish you a happy birthday, Mickey Mouse. Everybody wants to toast you with a song. The whole world wants to wish you a happy birthday, Mickey Mouse. Listen while your friends all join and sing along. Troubled times, he'll help us through. We say thank you, Mickey 
Everybody wants to toast you with a song. Happy birthday, Dickie. The whole world wants to wish you happy birthday, Mickey Mouse. Listen while your friends all join. and different things there. I sure wish I would have got more of you kids in these movies. I don't know what's wrong with me. I just take all these movies and places we've been, but I don't get much of the people I'm with inside of them. Anyway, Don, you were there, so you can remember seeing these films now. Bring back some memories for God Hope. ship they got there. That was kind of fun. Disneyland vacation in here because you were there. This is all part of your vacation too. We went into the Pirates of the Caribbean and I filmed a lot of the inside part, but sadly I lost all that film.
Okay, three days at Disneyland was enough. Now we're going to head over to Universal Studios for the day. Looks like Rusty found a friend. Hello, Frankie. you remember this vacation we took on. We had a great time as far as I can remember. Earthquake, the bridge is collapsing. over there and play like Moses and part the Red Sea. This is all part of Universal Studio where they made a lot of movies on this back lot here. Look at that, more tourists. Looks like they finally caught Bonnie and Clyde. Looks almost like Don hiding there on the side, but it's not. Here's an old cowboy town. Where's the shootout? Ask and you shall receive. Joe grew restless on the farm 
A boy filled with wanderlust who really meant no harm. He changed his clothes and shined his boots and combed his dark hair down. And his mother cried as he walked out. Don't take your guns to town, son. Leave your guns at home, Bill. Don't take your guns to town. He laughed and kissed his mom and said, You're Billy Joe's a man. I hope you're as quick and straight as anybody can. But I wouldn't shoot without a cause. I'd gun nobody down. Away. Don't take your guns to town, son. Leave your guns at home, Bill. Don't take your guns to town. He sang a song as all those words. Don't want to help me out of here, town, son. Leave your guns at home, Bill. Don't take your guns to town. Bill with rage, then Billy Joe reached for his gun to draw. But the stranger drew his gun and fired before he even saw. As Billy Joe fell to the floor, the crowd all gathered round and wondered at his final word. Don't take your guns to town, son. Leave your guns at home, Bill. Don't take your guns to town. Free man. Severa. Hello. 
long time ago. There's Brian and Amanda. Hi, Amanda. You'd ever seen they'd run around free when the earth was being born. But the loveliest of them all was the unicorn. There was green alligators and long neck geese. Some humpty back camels and some chimpanzees. Some cats and rats and elephants, for sure as you're born. The loveliest of all was the unicorn. Now God seen some sinning and it gave him pain. And he says, Here you are playing a little basketball, one on one. Sandy, Dusty, and Mark, Sandy's husband. Was another one of our many camping trips. Gotta get down in my hand and the western oil can under my local liver chair. It's a low what? Wow. Friday, no work till Monday. Do -ba -do, ba -do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do it's a low There you are with Brian. Too, man. That's the most important thing. But being thing too is to get enough money for gas and to go up to the disco. I like to see all them beautiful chicks. Yeah. So. Hey, Lonnie and Ted were there along with the little doggy there. And Joe and Yolanda were also there. <laughs> What's that? My friends always say, hey, brother, you can buy me one drink, man. Kimbo and the crew sucking up the brew pulley who meet smoking on the side. All the surfers on the dropping while the high schools are popping down Galaga before a ride. It's a low half Friday, no work till Monday. Do -do -be -do, be -do -be -do -be -do -be -do. It's a low half Friday, no work till Monday. Good old oldie beer. Don't hide, Don. Let me take your picture. All the previous video was 8mm and Super 8mm film with no sound. I added all the voice, music, and sound effects. Hi. Cindy and Jerry had the first video camera with sound, so they took this movie. We moved to Applegate in 1988, so this is the last video I got of you. It's a picture of my taxpayers. Oh, good, you found Toby's present. And there's Nicole. And Robert part the basketball hoop. Oh, no, what, you did the egg hunt already? Yeah, we did the egg hunt. No, don't worry about it. I've got egg hunt this way, everybody. Yay! Okay, let's fight him one more time because Robert's in the room. There he goes. 
Hi, Robert. Yeah. Robert on the they're playing. That should come out pretty nice. All you're doing special effects in your Yeah. This seems to be the last video I ever got of you, Don. Thought I'd throw in a little of us up in Applegate. You never did get to see our place in Applegate with snow. They told us it didn't snow much here, but we've been here two years, and this is the second big snow we've got. Take this patio deck out. Kids that I buried from the freezer. Well, there's the spa. Ooh, that's pretty. Oops, there's the open Jingle bell rock, jingle bell chime. Oh, look at our jingle bell tower. Oh, workshop, I can't get in. Can't get out of the driveway. Okay. Come on, get up there. Jingle bell Get back in the trail. Yep, I got it on. But let them be little So innocent A precious soul You turn around Then it's time to let them go So let them be little Cause you're only that way